Hey everybody, well this week is finally my North Dakota mule deer footage. It's kind of been a long time coming trying to put all this stuff together and I think really what's kind of delayed us on this has realistically been the lack of footage. <laughs> uh, really no good way to put it other than I, I just simply did not get enough of that realistic simple footage of trying to capture you know being with me along the way. I know I did a fair amount of the Facebook live updates and whatnot, but I just didn't capture that on the camera side of things. I just didn't do that this time. Uh, I ended up going out there by myself. Uh, Dakota wasn't able to come out there with me this year, but uh, we've been out there for the last five years. So this has been a long time coming for us to finally get a deer on the ground out there. Uh, I've kind of gotten to learn a typical or a certain area you know, fairly well as far as where roads are you know, what blocks tend to have better cover and whatnot. We just simply seen some mule deer the last time we were out there as well. So we kind of had a general area, you know, where I wanted to kind of key in on. And basically once getting out there and able to scout for a couple of days before the season, you know, obviously really helped with just being able to pin things down and figure out basically where the deer were and where they were concentrated at. So hopefully you guys enjoy this week's episode. morning went back to the same exact area um, <laughs> sure enough I got in there and they were making their same route coming back from the private um, in the daylight and ended up having a coyote come through and ended up boogering the deer and they ended up basically heading back and then cutting back down um, opposite side so I basically looped around basically see if they'd continue to try and get back to that public and um, I scooted back around the edge, and sure enough, about 45 minutes later, um, I seen them coming up one of the draws. Uh, but just before they got into the public side of things, they ended up taking a little a little valley down, and they dropped into some thick cover, and basically that's where they bedded up. sat in there most of the morning here and, and tried to wait them out just to see if they'd try and resituate but I think what makes that piece you know special or better is just it's it's the draws are in there are really thick and they're really tall so basically once those deer get in there can't even I mean can't get close to even seeing them when they're in there it just stopped raining here it's been raining about all morning um, I just uh, at eight o'clock this morning I missed that I missed that really big one <laughs> I shot just shot just underneath him by about ah, just a couple inches no other good way to put it other than I missed <laughs> um, he was with the other two bucks he was normally with one of them shed one of them just shed overnight um, I seen a couple other good ones so I'm headed south right now, I should say. I, I spun around south. I uh, spotted from, from the road. And then I seen, I seen one just from the road here just a little bit ago. So I am just let the rain stop here um, for a couple minutes. And there's a truck there in the background. But I am going to run up here. He's, he's about a mile and a half deep, it seemed, just by looking at the map. Um, the property line's... On the west side, we've got north wind. North is right to my back, and so I cut all the way down here to the west. I'm gonna try and get in front of him as he was slowly working his way to the west. Um, so I'm gonna try and jump in front of him. Looks super thick in there, so I don't know if I'll even be able to see or not. But I figure at least. I
Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I, it is pouring out. The camera is just getting absolutely soaked. Just smoked my first North Dakota mule deer on spot and stop. Oh, I'm freaking jacked right now. <laughs> he's, he's not an absolute giant. I've definitely seen way bigger deer, but he's definitely a mature deer. He's just a two by three. <laughs> I don't even care right now. Oh, it was so awesome. I spotted him. I was way panning out over here. I was on that hill. I don't even know, uh, whatever. It's it's three quarters of a mile. <laughs> um, spotted him over there. I ended up coming, making my way through these draws. I had to come through some cattle. I seen a bed, or at least going to this cut right here, right below us, and uh, I snuck up right down here, and I got, uh, I was about 200 yards right down here, basically figured out exactly where he was, got myself a couple markers up on top, I already screwed that up twice in the last two days, and not picking markers so I know where they are. Come around, got right here, an awesome hard crosswind. The rain just started, I mean, just picked up massively. Got the camera, just slowly hopped it up right here, and it just peeked over, and I think it, I think it was on focus with it. I think I, it looked like it when I grabbed my bow to draw. The camera was in focus, so I sure hope it, I sure hope it was, so. He's, I, he obviously is down. I'm absolutely jacked up right now. Oh, I'm excited. Let me get this camera covered up. We're gonna get this deer. <laughs> well, here he is. <sighs> Having some technical difficulties with the other camera, but this is the end result. Um, just a big old two by. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty excited. This is, this is a hunt that I've honestly dreamed about for a long time, um, you know. I've been coming out west now for five years, and it's taken this long to to get one in the early season. So to finally get one on the ground here is has you know certainly taken a long time. But I tell you what, I'm super excited, super happy. Uh, you know, a long stalk, fun stalk. In the end, should have some footage of it. I'm super excited. Um, it was just fun all around. <laughs>